On a previous video, we spoke about our setup that we're going to attempt to spawn some egg scattering fish with. We have had a spawn. Now let's check out what's going on with them. So I'm very excited to announce that we've got some fry. So in here we've got gold white cloud mount minnows, which I'm pretty happy with. Can never keep a good supply of these, so that's exciting. Didn't think I was going to get any because the parents managed to get their way under the egg trap, I guess is what you'd call it, uh, which is possibly why there's not as many fry in there. Got some pearl danios in here. Very, very beautiful fish and very underrated. Funny story, I once ordered some pearl danios from one of my suppliers and they had spawned in the bag and it was full of eggs. But there's plenty of fry in here, so I'm really happy with that. There is even more zebra danio fry in here. So this has been the most successful of the lot so far. Then you have little babies in there. I'm really, really happy with this one. And the last one that we found fry in is the albino cherry barbs. Not as many in here. I am finding they are liking the bottom a bit more. This is some leftover fry food that I tried. I did not like it and I will not be using it again. But there's a few in there as well. So I'm pretty happy with the results on that so far. Now the results that I'm not as happy with. I thought that we had some flamme uh, eggs in here. Clearly we didn't. Now that I put a light on it, I think little things like that mark there, I thought might have been an egg. When I was looking under torchlight, it looked like an egg, but it's clearly not. Uh, nothing so far. Oh, I thought I saw a fry. Man, that would have been awesome. That's disappointing. Nothing so far from the black neons. The parents stayed in here about three days longer because the water is so tannin rich. We didn't realize there was still three in there. So they could have been eggs. They could have eaten some fry. Not 100% sure. So I'm going to leave this one a little bit longer just in case there might have been a hatch and there might be some small fry in there. I'm not really holding my breath. I don't think it is likely, but you never know. And then we got no results by the look of it on the standard white cloud minnows. I put some methylene blue in all of the tanks, that's why this one is slightly tinted blue. But nothing really came with this one, so we'll give that one another go another time. Over the next few days we'll be adding the CPDs here into the mixed Danio and Barb tank. And this tank itself will be going over to the rest of them and we're going to put a proper effort in, in spawning these. I've not had a very good success rate so far. I got fry and didn't manage to raise them past a couple days. So I'm going to be putting a proper, proper effort into these fish in the upcoming weeks. So obviously all of these fry are really small. So they need small food. We're currently feeding vinegar eels. Might have exhaust this, exhausted this wee container. Might have to reset another one for tomorrow. But they're currently getting vinegar eels a couple times a day. Oh, there's a couple still in there. And they're getting a delicious scraping of micro worms as well. So they're all free swimming. I'm hoping we've only got a few more days left of micro worms and vinegar eels and then we can get them onto the uh, live baby brown shrimp. But we'll see how that goes. This is our parent stock. Every time we get new fish in, we just grab a couple more. Uh, we'll grab a couple from the order. So we'll keep the, uh, the barbs and the danios and the white clouds sitting here. Just grow them up for a couple months, get them nice and mature. Feed them up on lots of live brine shrimp, Sarah insect, Rapashi agapa explorer. And then we put them into the tanks to spawn from. Next I wouldn't mind giving these purple gold head rasporas a run. Gorgeous fish. Different technique but a gorgeous fish. Our Tetra breeding, that's not a good sign. I'll deal with that very soon. Uh, our Tetra breeding group, so with our Flames, Glow Lights, Rummy Nose, Neons, Cardinals, Pristellas, Embers, Black Neons, you name it, there's plenty of fish in here. Same thing, just grab a few once when we get an order in, let them mature, grow up for a little bit longer. The um, Embers are definitely one that I want to hopefully give a go on next. And if I can get some more lemon tetras, there's another one I want to go. I'm still stuck on the black neons. Three, two attempts now, no go. 
Uh, Rummy knows, another one I want to give a nudge on, one attempt, no go, so um, there's just a little thing inside me, I've given it a go, I want to succeed, want to get it done, tick it off, once I've ticked it off a couple of times, I want to work out exactly what causes them, so I can begin writing things down and um, working out how they're done, so we can continue to produce some nice New Zealand made fish. So as far as success so far with egg scattering fish, we've had a bunch of rainbow fish, which we can go over another day. Um, I've had success with glow light tetras, nothing with flame, nothing with black neon, nothing with ember, nothing with cardinal, nothing with rummy nose, nothing with glow, glow light done, uh, nothing with Stella, and there's a couple more. So my success rate with tetras, very poor. Uh, with minnows, white cloud, gold, tick, white cloud, not gold, nothing yet. Uh, Pearl Danios, yes, Zebra Danios, yes, Albino Cherry Bulb, yes, Normal Cherry Bulb, do not want a bar of it from me, so they are no as well. But that is about all of the egg scaring fish that we have tried at this point. I will definitely be trying some more, try to work out exactly how to spawn them once we've worked out how to spawn them. Just try and share as much of the information as we can so you guys can give it a go as well. Thank you for watching. If you've enjoyed this, please feel free to subscribe to our channel. One of the biggest draw cards in what we do is have interviews with World Round Acarists on a live stream every Friday. Have a good one, team. Happy fish keeping. Catch you later.